Do not forget your sachena Oh yes. That is mangrove ecosystem. Nice. Guys, they have a mangrove boa or cascabel right here. Plant, I love the eggplant. It distracted you, man. <laughs> Welcome back, foodie fam! Welcome back! So if you've missed our vlog before, I'm Matt. And I'm Lovey. And today we're at the Karani Swamp. Yeah. Guys, we're gonna go on the tour all through the swamp and see all the beautiful fauna and flora. It's gonna be different this time because we have a surprise. We're gonna eat. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna have dinner here out on the water. And we're just waiting for the boatman to set up. And then we're gonna shoot on that water. So have a date yeah guys it's gonna a be date. a date this evening yeah it's been long overdue yeah <laughs> so we see you guys there <laughs> stay tuned yeah. such a guys when you're coming here do not forget your such a yeah sand flies and stuff will bite you so hmm. all kind of thing will bite you yeah when we send you all started doing the dinner one i started in october last year Maybe all the way over there far? i'm so far away yeah <laughs> he said he started this in october the october dining. oh nice when the restaurants open we started offering food on the boat okay sunrise breakfast store where we serve breakfast after seeing the goods leave the island on mornings and that one starts at 5 a.m and then i decided to do this dinner tour we go in in the moonlight if it's a moonlight it's better yeah we go in in the dark and we have to sneak up on the island and then when it starts to get bright they all lift off Ah. So we call it the blast off club. Right, so people who would want to come on this tour, they could either choose morning or yeah, or early evening. morning. I think we should we should choose morning next time. Yeah, early next morning th or afternoon. Time. Early morning, guys. That early morning one where you see these scarlet tigers lift off into the air. That's what he's now explaining here. That would be amazing, yeah. yeah. And this one that you choose today, yeah, would see them coming home after feeding all day long. Ah, oh. so yeah. and that we also do kayaking tours, we do the bird sand tours, we do fishing trips, you know. Wow, so look eat. at this view! This view is so beautiful. I think we're already thinking about the food. <laughs> Our company has been involved in conservation work for almost a hundred years now. My grandfather was the person, Simon Uritnan, who petitioned the government to save the skull tibis in 1948. My father, Winston, who swamped his name after, he actually put the Karani swamp on the map when he went out to the world to showcase the Karani swamp. Very nice. I myself had the chance to work with the EMA to come up with policies to make the skull tibis an environmentally sensitive species. Our objective is to make sure this area becomes an environmentally sensitive area. Anything that comes in here would be protected. Very good. So we're gonna have some appetizers now. Just pumpkin soup. Pumpkin soup. Pumpkin soup. Non alcoholic, soup, non -alcoholic wine. wine. Um, so nobody falls off of the boat, right? right? But but guests normally bring their stuff. Oh, if they want. you're yeah. allowed to bring. You're allowed okay. to bring a bottle or two of wine. Not 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 too much. Not um, too much. But we will serve non alcoholic wine. Oh, is this nice. spark? It's really nice. It tastes like if you're drinking champagne. Oh, okay, but nice. Either this or simple thing as pear drafts and LLB and things, yeah. all these things. Yeah, keep it simple. I mean, yeah. you really don't want somebody to fall off of the boat to the water. <laughs> well, so we just pull aside here by this old bush here, mangroves, and we're gonna have some appetizer now. Appetizers now. So, oh yes. Okay, so smelling nice. Yeah, pumpkin soup looking good too. So guys, we have pumpkin soup here and we have naan bread and we have some sparkling and wine or fizzy bubbly stuff. And this is the appetizer. It looks amazing. <laughs> Love, you can't wait to dig in. <laughs> yeah, try. try the naan. All this naan for me? Yeah. Gotta show it to you. Some, yeah, yeah, try the soup by itself from... first. Yeah. How's that? Good? Yeah, probably good. Oh, I can't wait to dig in. Dip that naan. <laughs> <laughs> Dip that naan. <laughs> Dip the naan. <laughs> Missing egg. What? Egg with, with the naan. Lovey, you can't have egg with everything. <laughs> Very soft. Taste this. Oh wow. Has a nice little sweet taste in there too. Nice to it. Wow. So this is carapole leaf. That's what they uh, as a special spice they use in curry. Yeah. Special spice to stripe. Wow, Matthew was hungry. And we're back on the road. On the water. Cheers. There we are. Oh my gosh, the sun is trying to come out. So the Karani Swamp is approximately 40 square miles of wetlands. Uh -huh. The northern range contributes a lot of nutrition in here. How it gets in is when the streams and rivers on the hillside erode, that substance that moves along with the water will be rich in animal matter, plant matter, detritus and nutrients. And that goes all the way down and deposits at the gulf. Then it resuspends with the flood tide and it comes in into these estuaries it will deposit on the mangrove roots and on the mud flats and then these tiny crabs come out and feed on these microorganisms 
and the birds go around feeding on the crabs. Ah. The scar divers get their red color by doing that. Feeding Is that on the, the fiddler crabs? crabs? Fiddler crabs, yeah. right. Nice. The fiddler crabs. I remember. <laughs> yeah, they trap enough air to breed for another low tide. So they 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 burrow. So they live burrowing animals. So they live inside the um, earth. No, and when the tide drop, they come out. They see tiny holes on the bank. Yeah. That's how they put the fiddler crab. Carney Swamp. It is the second largest wetland on the island, but it is the largest mangrove ecosystem considered to be one of the best in the Western Hemisphere. If you want to combat against global warming. Don't destroy the mangrove ecosystem because mangrove ecosystems of mangrove wetlands store more carbon dioxide than any other terrestrial forest in the world. Wow. That biodiversity in here is so rich that we have over 180 plus species of birds. We have snakes, caimans, iguanas, anteaters. We have four different species of mangroves. Red mangroves. Red mangroves. So you yeah. identify them with the prop roots at the base. Prop roots. Hanging aerial roots. The red mangrove is viviparous and what this means is they germinate the seedlings on the tree. This is the fruit, the fruit right. stays on the tree, seedlings germinate inside of it and when they mature they look like a torpedo yeah. with a very pointed tip, they fall off, they stick and this is how they grow. They prop themselves and then the tree starts growing from here. Ah. So our journey will be about three and a half, four miles. Oh nice. But salt water comes in here twice a day, it mixes with the fresh water that drains through the interior of the island. So you have a brackish water condition. Guys, they have a mangrove boa or cascabel right here. Right here. Guy. He's a small guy, but he's still a guy. Oh my lord, I nearly fall. Wow, look at that. Woo. They feed on birds and bats. Wow. Rodents. Arata Sisonia, your tree climbing crabs. Another tree. Oh, you want to take the crab from you? Yes, Me, so. no. It wouldn't bite? No, it wouldn't bite. <laughs> right, let's squeeze the tail, mash it up. Little baby crab. We're we actually holding a little crab here, right? <laughs> nice. <laughs> Throw it? Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Beautiful. Wow, look them all up in the tree there. Oh, beautiful. Oh, they have an ibis in the back there, guys. Yeah, I think I get him. Yeah. Scarlet is the color. Yeah, scarlet is the color. Oh, nice. Beautiful bird. Yeah, and in captivity, they lose that scarlet plumage. <laughs> it distracted the man. <laughs> Yeah, boy! <laughs> Flamingos dropped by in 2015. 22nd, uh, the 24th of April was the exact day I saw the first flock of flamingos in here. And we've been seeing flamingos and now we've seen young ones, so we think they're nesting here as well. So that's a good sign of uh, another species, added attraction to Karani Swamp. Flamingos and scar divers are the main attraction. So are you hearing them? Yeah. <laughs> it's a weird sound, huh? What time do the birds come in? This all depends again on the tide. If tide is full, like today, they sometimes come in by 5.30 start. If tide is very low, they like to stay out feeding. You all hearing how crazy these flamingos are getting, huh? Why are they making those noises? They're feeding, they always do not when they feed them. Ah, oh, so they're feeding right out there. What are they feeding on? Shrimp and fish and propeller. Oh, okay. Checking out the flamingos and hopefully gonna wait for some scarlet ibis to come. Hopefully they come today. They will. <laughs> they will? Oh, they come every day, right? Every single day. <laughs> Guys, they come and go every single day. My bad, my bad. <laughs> wow. Huh. 
Oh, we have a little bit of everything right here. This is eggplant. Eggplant. Sweet and sour eggplants. You have cassava. You have all the local veggies here. Nice. You have the plantains here as well. You have uh, tandoori chicken, baked chicken. Oh, I love tandoori chicken. Sweet and sour fish. fish. Oh, fish. Wow, nice. And this one Lovely. Is fish as well. This is deep fried breaded plantains. Mm. I don't put too much because I don't know what it tastes. <laughs> How was our food? The sour is really good. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we're gonna listen to the sounds of those flamingos and. Oh my gosh! This guy oh, is... wow, look at that. Wow. Nice little flock coming here. Lovely. You were right, you said they were gonna be coming early because of the weather. The tired, the weather, everything. Eggplant. Mm -hmm. mm, oh my god, look how much. Wow, look at these. Wow. This is so beautiful, I'm really glad we came here. We're getting a little bit of a sunset here. Gonna have to get into some dessert now. The food was amazing, flavors, everything tasted really good. It was such a great experience here coming out with Nanans, with Santry Tours here. Experiencing all of these flamingos and scarlet ibis just coming in there. You have this guy to thank here. Yeah. Okay, remember. Lester. <laughs> oh I keep forgetting, is it? We have Lester here to thank from the Nanans, with Santry Tours, and it's just such a beautiful experience to be out here experiencing the natural beauty. Our national bird, Scarlet Ibis, along with flamingos and just having a really enjoyable meal here. And dessert. And non-alcoholic champagne. Okay guys, so we came to the close of this vlog. We came? <laughs> we came to the close of this vlog. We hope you guys enjoy this experience here out in the Karani Swamp with Nanan's Bird Santry Tours. The meals were amazing. Yeah, check them out. There's more than just touring. You have food, you have kayaking, you have fishing. It's really nice. It was just a beautiful experience. If you guys would like to see more vlogs with us, put it in the comments. If you know someone that would appreciate coming out here and experiencing something like this, share the video with them. I mean, look how beautiful the sunset is. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, follow Foodie Nation on Facebook. And also thank you for coming and joining us for this very nice video thank and you delicious so much. food. So we'll see you guys on the next vlog.